All right, it's time for us to have our first in interview and our first guest is with us in the studio. She is, um, she was listed by Wine Niger as one of the 100 most influential women in Nigeria in 2014. She's the organizer of the New Media Conference. She's also an author, the author of Olori Supergirl, From Social Misfit to Social Hero, to Superhero. She's also a blogger. She is an amazing award-winning Media mogul. Her name is Tosin Ajibadi, the founder of Olori Supergirl, and today she's joining us on the show. Thank, Thank you for you. joining us. Hello, <laughs> Tosin. It's always Hi. a delight to have you. Thank oh, you so come. much. Yes. I, I'm sure that anytime you hear us reading your accolades, you're wondering, yeah, is that me? How does that make you feel every time you hear a lot of the things? Uh, like okay, that? so Tosin, you've done all of this. Uh, okay, so there's more to come, basically. <laughs> Very true indeed. <laughs> yes. Congratulations. Thank Congratulations. You. We know that you have a lot coming up in the in, in the year. Yes. But let's let's look at the past year. How is how is how has it been on social media? We're starting to see a lot of people waking up to the idea that they can actually make money on social media. Yeah. So let's let's analyze twenty eighteen in the media world, okay. the social media world. How was it like? Okay, so I I would say um twenty eighteen was a good year for so many people and I would say the newcomers. Um, 2018 saw new influencers, 2018 saw new content creators, and um, it made people who have been in the business to say, do you know what else can I do? What can I do different? So a lot of um, new influencers as content creators, you know, you know, were, were on social media and they made their mark. And for the year, I think last year also too made, was also a good year for them because they also got recognized. And um, as you all know, content comes before followership. So some of them had to celebrate their wins, their small wins in terms of having uh, new followers and new subscribers and the rest of them. So yeah, I think it was a great year, basically on social media. That's the good, you know, part of it. Ah, so tell us, there was a bad part. Um, bad part, um, I think social media came with a lot of tension, pressure, and um, depression too. So uh, you get to see young people, you know, talk about, I was depressed, or I am depressed. Or mental illness was one of the um, topics that was really, really, um, you know, out talked there about. last year. Most talked about last year, and, and even it didn't really just funny enough. Yeah, even this year. Yes, yeah, this is just, this is just the ninth day in 2019, and we've had a lot already during eight days. So you can just imagine 365 days. You know, people coming out to say this is what you know they are facing, and I actually, because for me, it's it's very important that uh, people know these things, and they also lend, give them like a helping hand, you know, advise them. Because when people tweet, when I started, when I started social, social media, it was an escape from my reality. So that is the way I see when people talk about issues, when, it's, when they talk about real issues. So it's basically, they are actually running away from their own reality. So that way, people, some people were mocking, talking, it's a lie, oh, it can't be true, it can't be true, da, da, da. Until celebrities started opening up, you know, a lot of celebrities even opened up this year. You know, talking about how depressed they were at a point in time. So, I mean, that's that's another side of social media. But the good part, um, yeah, a lot happened. I think there's also some advantage, even in that bad part. The advantage being that people now know that they can speak up. Oh and yes. Several organizations like she, she you, you, and you, you know, if you look at it, you see, social media is uh, like social media has its own good part, and it's really helped a lot of issues. You know, mm. um, that's most of the sensitive issues, that's rape and the rest of them. It's created more awareness. It's, you know, look at the market match in Yaba. Look at what, mm -hmm. look at what happened. In, where did it start from? Social media. A lot has happened. Not young to run. A lot has happened. So, so, that, so that's just the good part about it. So if the same thing to if people are also talking about a mental, the people who have mental illness actually coming out to say, this is what is happening to me. You know, that also creates more awareness. Number one, not everyone is informed. Okay. So you get to see people giving comments different angles you get to see the ones that oh please come here oh this this someone needs to talk to this person oh can you talk to this person oh you, can i contact you you know so you get to see people with different comments because they have different solutions to just one problem you get okay. to see people nigerians come to say we can help you and some can even shut you up so and sometimes when people ask for advice on behalf of others who can't even confront or face the insults that comes with it, they tell them, "Do you know what the poster is reading? Can you make your comments?" <laughs> yeah, you know, kind. so that so that they don't go into depression again. If they are, if it's a, it's a it's a good thing people come out to say this is what I'm going through. It's a bad thing when they see that their 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 problem is what people are mocking or people are you know, saying bad things about. So it's, it's okay. Lot. So so um. Concerning your book, when you said social misfit, yes, was there ever a time you were actually like that? Oh yes, okay. growing up, and um, 
you know, so growing up basically for me was, it was, um, I was, I grew up a shy girl and I was really, I was really, not, I was really not that good with keeping friends or having to, um, you know, go out. So I, I, I had, um, I had to keep a lot of things to myself. It took me, it took me a while to even come out to say a lot of things. That was the reason why I said when I joined um, social media, you know, 10 years ago, it was my escape from my reality. You know, you could just put out a tweet or put out a Facebook post. Your family members are not there. Your auntie is not there to scold you. Your uncle is not there to scold you. But you have, you know, just people that you can't, you don't even know or you can't even see to you. You just talk or interact with on social media. So for me, it's also at a point in my life, I, I just, I decided to like come out and then, you know, speak more, you know, be myself and then just live, live what I, live the life I just need to live because um, growing up was not really, was not really that um, helping, you know, having to be that shy girl. I was never in any circle. I was, I didn't party. I was, not, I was just this person that, because at a point again, I, 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 I repeated a class in school. I know how it is when you repeat a class, you have to sit with your Good juniors. juniors. You know, it was very, that was, that was really hard for me in a boarding school. So it was really hard for High me. High five. <laughs> By the end of the day, look at you. Now you're the one. You didn't. You didn't have a click then. Most but now everybody them, wants to be in your click because you're most the one of that them has to report this. Like, toss, because of, uh, some of them are my friends. Some friends. Toss, and everybody, is this you? And I'm like, I was never in any of. I mean, everybody had the click. The biggest click in my my set then we were 15 girls. So that was the biggest, and the smallest was just three three people mm. in the group. So you can, so you just imagine how. Click, you know, clicks in school, they were... Yeah. They're the in thing. And today now, Tosin Ajibade from That Shy Girl is a one-man <laughs> army. Oh, and you even you've won several awards in 2016. Oh, yeah. Yes. You won the Future Awards for New Media. Yes. And you've done so much for yourself. Yes. So well done Thank for you. having, you know, climbed the ladder yes. and fought your fears. Let's Thank look at you. practically how to make money with social media. Okay. You're making your money from social media. And I'm sure when you started this, I remember you saying that people used to say, ah, are you not just a blogger? What do bloggers do? But you make money from social media. So let's talk about the various angles in which people can make money from us on social media. Because you said last year there were lots of newcomers. I'm sure that this year we're going to see lots of newcomers as well. So what are the different aspects in which we can make money? Okay, so I think one of the things that, one of the things I will mention is, uh, it depends on which platform, you know, you're running. All platforms are different. So it's best people understand that if you're on YouTube, you make the same money as the person on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and the rest of them. So YouTubers make money from Google Analytics. They make they also make money from products, reviews, you know, advert placements, direct advert placement. Um, the guys on Instagram, you have your Instagram, you have your live Instagram live, you have your own page, you have your stories, and stories, sorry, stories are actually bigger. So it's actually going to be big in 2019. So and if you look at it, if you if you're a numbers person. Uh, you, and, you, and you check your analytics all the time, you might even realize that sometimes your stories get more views than your homepage. You can go and do that assignment. I'm sure you definitely see there's a difference. So, and it depends on how you also use your stories too. So there are lots of features that can actually get you more awareness than your homepage um, um, post. So on Twitter, you can make money from tweets, um, posting tweets uh, for brands, organizations. You can also make money by monetizing your Twitter header. You know, most people don't see that um, opportunity. So your Twitter header is very, very useful. Your avatar is very useful because on Twitter, you can actually see the number of visits you get in a month. So that is people going to your page, people checking your page. So imagine the number of people checking your page. They also see the same Twitter header and avatar. So imagine if you have, a, if you have an advert of a product or a, a brand or a service that they see it. You know, so, so just like the way they have profile visits on Instagram yes, as well. Yes, same way you have profile visits on Instagram, same way. But the only difference with Instagram is that Instagram doesn't have Twitter either. So imagine if they come up with that tomorrow. So that's, that's, so that's something to, so, so those are ways you can actually monetize your Instagram, Twitter, YouTube channel. Like you can monetize them in different ways and you can make cool money from them. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to ask how, have you ever trained anyone else to do this? I do. Yes. So, one of the things, um, 2011 was when I started getting money off social media, uh, getting paid off social media. And 2014 was when I, when I realized that a lot of people wanted to know how to. So, I, <laughs> I had to take it upon myself to then teach people. So, um, it's, I, I really love small groups and I don't really know why, but I love them because you can easily work with people 
with, in a small groups, 10, 15, 20 is fine for me. Uh, if it's a conference, yes, you can talk to everybody, but you want to get, if you want to get the results and you work with people closely, that's, that's when you get the results. So I started, I started training people in 20, 2014. People, those who wanted to know how to blog, which is number one. Blogging, of course, is still relevant to today. And a lot of people want to know how to blog. How can I create a blog? What can I do? How can I monetize? Where can I get advert? So all these questions, they come in, you know, at different angles. Then social media, you have Twitter, you have Facebook, you have Instagram, you have YouTube. Understanding these platforms is another thing. So what I tell people is know the platform that works for you. I, I'm not really big on Twitter. I'm not really big on Instagram. I'm not, so you just know what it's. Well, you just know what platform works for you. It might be bigger or Instagram. I'm not really that big on Twitter. Is it possible mm -hmm. to be big on everything? I, I, I actually did. Um, so this is it. Uh, I'll mention these names, but I don't know if people know them. But they can actually Google their names. Guy Kawasaki is actually a brand influencer for Mercedes Benz. He's also the co-founder of Canva. You know. So uh, we also have Gary V. We also have other. So these are international influencers i'm so sorry but i'm getting somewhere gary v is on youtube he's on linkedin he's on twitter he's on facebook he's on instagram and his views his comments his engagements i don't even know what it is about day. gary v that everybody is so crazy about <laughs> uh, him it's, 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 i think i think for me because I, I became his fan two years ago and okay. i got his book last year i read his book and um, the guy is just real, open, and he tells you the truth. See, the same thing someone knows and then it's keeping away from you, he tells you for free. But if you need to get to see to Gary Vee, you have to pay. So I think that is where he's making the, ch the chunk of his money. But if you go to all his channels, he also has podcasts. He has a podcast where he talks about you know, social media and the rest of them. He's an entrepreneur. So for, for, for him, I think it works for him. But for Guy, Guy is bigger on LinkedIn and Twitter. So basically, everybody That's understands Kawasaki. where you're... Huh? Understand where your market is. Yes, yeah, so understand. Spend. Just understand okay. the, those platforms. It's it's better. You see, like um, for all the Supergirl platform, we so all the Supergirl, Supergirl brand, we are on all platforms. But what works for us better is Instagram and Twitter. So we're also on YouTube. We're also on Facebook. But YouTube, uh, sorry, Twitter and Instagram is our biggest platform. All right. So now let's look at you know generating content. I think that's like the major challenge yes, a lot of is. people have. They tell you, I don't know what to post up. I can't do social media, but in this day and age, you have, you have to, to do, do social, social media, media because your next <laughs> client just might be a post away. Yes. How do you determine one, your target audience, and then how do you generate, how do you, you know, train yourself to generate content consistently? Okay, so um, I like the way you use the word consistently because if you look at, um, if you look at the people I mentioned or the, or the way I've been talking about it, you just have to be consistent. Uh, consistency is actually one of the things that you need to do has, uh, if you want to be on social media all the time, if you want to make that money, I want to make money, how can I, how can I get this? So you need to be consistent. So how can you be consistent? Number one, you need to create your content. Your content comes first. So let's use this example now. Uh, let's just assume we have a, a platform on travel. Now we break it down to Monday to Sunday. We want to be consistent. Three times a day, three times seven, you have 21, what, post in a week. So 21 times... 30, uh, sorry, 21 times 4, you know, you should know the numbers already. So that means in the total, in total, you have like 84, close to, huh? 84, 21 times. Yeah. Thank you. Close to that amount of a post in a month. So, so let's say Monday, you want to post 7 a.m. 7 a.m. can be peak time on your page. 2 p.m. can be peak time on your page. 9 p.m. can be peak time on your page. So that's three times a day. Then you also, so you also have time to also comment. If you have comments, reply. Replies are very good. Interactive. You know, someone says something, interact with them. Someone asks for, a, how can I buy this stop? You know, just tell them where to buy or where to get it. So you have that. So your content can be Monday. You can talk about, you're using travel as an example now. Quickly, we'll talk about Monday. We'll talk about city of the week. City of the week can be Lagos. Tuesday can be travel Tuesday. Where, where do you want to go to? Can be Mauritius. Wednesday can be wild Wednesday. Which animal do you want to talk about? You can talk about the giraffe. How long the neck of the giraffe is. On Thursday can be throwback Thursday. You can do any throwback to anything. Maybe when Nigeria, London, Lagos, London, Lagos mm. was 18,000. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Friday can be flashback Friday. Saturday can be... Oh, one day Saturday. But this is travel. I'm, oh, okay, okay. So if you look at it now, I'm creating a, a, a theme mm. for the travel... For the travel that's why yes. I was in travel for an, as an example. So we are creating a theme already for the travel page. So on Saturday might be 
destination wedding Saturday. Thank you. <laughs> then Sunday can be something else. Yeah. You know, so Monday when you talk about city of the day of the week, you're talking about something. You know, Tuesday, you're talking about uh, travel Tuesday, you're talking about destination. Yeah. Wednesday, you're talking about white life. Thursday, you're talking about giving throwback. So that way, if you are consistent, you're using the right hashtags, you're using the right captions. For so many people, they don't even know how to create captions. So what I tell people is to outsource it to sales copy people or copywriters or storytellers. Storytelling is going to be big in 2019. So these are the things to look out for. Storytelling, storytellers, Insta stories, yeah, Insta stories, pictures or videos in 2019. Videos, please. Videos. Yes. So All for right. a lot of people who say, I am shy, I don't want to face the camera, please face that camera if you can use that phone to make a phone call. Okay. You can start with WhatsApp videos. Talk to your family and friends. The more you do that, the more you get into that you know, mood. By the time you go on live on Instagram, you can quickly do 15 minutes and run back. Tomorrow, do 10 minutes. Next tomorrow, do 15 minutes. By the time you need to, you are doing one hour. Okay, give a five-second encouragement to anybody who wants to be like you. Nobody can be like me. All I can I say mean is a blogger, be yourself. Basically. Yeah, yeah, so be yourself. Um, get, get your right content if you want to be big and you want to make money on social media. Be consistent. Engage with your followers. It is very important. Um, I will say this again. Content comes before followers. So most people should not feel that how can I get these followers? No, how can you create this content? So if you can't Brilliant. create your content, outsource it. Get a content creator to do that for you. You know, if you can't create your videos, outsource it. Get videos of videos. So you can't. You, you mustn't do everything yourself. You, can, you, can't you, have you other mustn't. Do it no, for you. even if you have the skills, you yeah. you you can't. You, I mean. All right, we also um, know that you're going to be having trainings for people oh yes. who want to learn about this. Oh, yeah, so for most people who want to be influencers, so like I said, this year is the year of influencers. Now, we have a lot of nano-influencers. We have micro, macro, and celebrity influencers. Nano-micro influencers are the ones that most brands and agencies will focus on this year. Okay. So nano-influencers are people who have less than or up to 1,000 followers. And at the end of the day, you're going to be training all of them. Of and course. they can find out all the details, all the details on, your on my social media page. At Tosin Ajibade yes, and please. at Olori Supergirl. Yes. Thank you so much for Thank joining for us. Thank you. We hope we've been able to help you with Thank some you. tips and tricks on how to basically make money from social media in 2019. This year, if you're not making money on social media, you're sleeping on a long thing. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.